It all came down to one final game for the Roseau baseball team. The Rams have rolled all the way through the state tournament so far, winning big over Duluth Marshall 13-2 in the quarterfinals and then 8-1 over the St. Agnes in the semifinals. That put Roseau in unfamiliar territory, the first state championship appearance in program history. Sports director Chaz Moose has the highlights and recap from Target Field. The Class 2A Baseball State Championship was a battle of the far north of the state in Roseau and the far south in Fairmont. The schools are separated by 423 miles and whoever won was going to take home their first ever state title. The Rams were the champs out of Section 8 2A. Dominant pitching and balanced offense got them to target field. Fairmont, the number one seed in 2A, came into the championship game with a 26-3 and record. Defense and pitching dominated the day. Rams senior pitcher Brady DeMars held the cards scoreless through five innings, forcing several pop-ups and letting his defense make plays. He is a fierce competitor, and Brady is not a thrower. He's a pitcher. Um, he keeps the opponent off balance with a good mix of a fastball, curveball, and a changeup, and he really makes the other team earn whatever they get. The only problem was the Rams' offense was also held scoreless through five innings, even when they had bases loaded in the third and multiple scoring opportunities throughout the afternoon. You know, we had opportunities early to capitalize, and, you know, we just didn't make the most of those opportunities to, you know, string a couple together early and, you know, play a little looser throughout the game. In the sixth, the Cardinals broke things wide open as they first scored off of two overthrow errors from Rozo. And then after that, Fairmont's bats really got hot. I looked up at the scoreboard during the inning and it was uh, walk, uh, error, walk, error, and then it snowballed into seven runs. Um, in a high intensity game like this, you know, you just have to try and cut down those on those as much as possible. Rozo wasn't able to score in the seventh, and the Cardinals won their first state championship in school history. Despite the tough loss and tough sixth inning for the Rams, there was a lot to be proud of when looking back at the historic season that Rozo had. What these seniors bring to the table every day is 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 what I, I will remember. The things that they displayed throughout this season will take them far in life. My heart could not be more full uh, than what we did this spring, uh, this, this section tournament, the state tournament. I am so proud of these guys and, and I look forward to see what they do in this next chapter of their life. The 7-0 shutout loss was a tough one for Rozo, but what a remarkable run it's been for the Rams. They finished their season with a 19-7 record, earning their first ever state runner-up finish in program history. It's also the first time that a Rozo athletic team has played in the state championship since 2007. Reporting from Target Field in Minneapolis, Chaz Moots, Lakeland News. The Rams also had four players that received some state tournament honors after the state championship game. Isaac Wensloff, his brother Aaron Wensloff, Gavin Gunderson, and Cooper Flagg all were named to the Class 2A All-Tournament team. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.